Alan, since the nation's first known armed bank robbery in 1866 by the Jesse James gang, criminals have come up with all kinds of disguises to conceal their identity. Tonight, though, bank robbers are bolstered by following the rules that require customers entering financial institutions to wear face masks because of COVID-19. We've never allowed people into banks with uh, into banks with masks, you know, simply because of the security risk of having unidentified people in the bank. Uh, the challenge we've got is that the pandemic is the larger risk right now. Even as banks deal with the pandemic by requiring masks, industry experts say bank robberies are actually down since COVID erupted. But most holdups that are happening involve bandits behind COVID masks. On Monday here at TCF in Homewood, this masked man implied he had a weapon, according to the FBI, and robbed the bank. Also Monday, the FBI says this man with hat, hoodie, and glasses robbed the Fifth Third Bank here in Bolingbrook and that he is a serial bank robber seen in similar getups at four separate bank heists the past month. I mean, it, it, it's the exact uh, picture of what you would expect a bank robber to wear and people are asking you to wear those. You're almost inviting somebody to come in and, and attempt a, uh, a bank robbery. Pre-COVID bank bandits might wear disguises or not, but now masks are required. Former FBI official and ABC News consultant Rich Frankel tells the I-Team there is a simple answer. There are cameras in every bank, usually at the doors as you enter into the bank. And if you drop the mask, at least they'll identify each person who comes in there. So if there comes a time when there's a bank robbery, Okay, we do have a, you know, a, a picture of the person who committed that uh, that bank robbery. So that is actually one of the things that we recommend for bankers. If you've got the staff to have a door greeter, uh, ask that person to remove the mask, face the camera, identify. We think that prevents a great uh, deterrent. Bank security experts tonight say that even with masks and disguises, law enforcement has other tools to identify suspects and that no one has total anonymity. Until the pandemic ends, though, financial industry officials say masks will be required to protect the two million employees nationwide who work in banking. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.